Hi friends, welcome back. So today we're just gonna work on a potting for the last time, our tomatoes and peppers and our tomatillos. Uh, a lot of these have grown exponentially since the last time we saw. And like I said, this is gonna be the last time that we up pot them. All of these tomatoes and peppers are all in a container uh, in either three or four pair per container per three inch pot. And so you can see here that these have gotten really big, but they're overshading this one right here. So this is gonna give smaller ones like this one a chance to catch up. And then this is our second round of peppers that we had started. They have amazing root systems on these now. So we need to get these divided and up potted also. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Um, I probably won't talk about too much during this, but uh, I will probably do more of a time lapse. And to be flat out honest, I don't know if I've got enough pots here that's, if this is gonna work or not. Tomatillos are just like tomatoes, you can bury their stem deeper to get more production out of them.
So friends, um, I just up potted this whole thing right here. You can see that some of these are smaller uh, because I don't believe they were getting enough light or water. So this will greatly help them thrive over the next six weeks before we put them out in the garden. Um, but this entire tree had tomatoes with tomatillos on it and I almost forgot what they were because I didn't have any tags for this tomato in this. So before I forget again, these are aromas. I'm gonna go ahead and I've got these little ones I got off of Amazon. Make individual tags for each one of these plants so that I don't forget what they are. Now these tomatoes, like I said, will be ready to go out around Mother's Day. So we've got like four to six weeks before that, so they're ready. And then the peppers will not go out until the beginning of June. So they have six to eight weeks before they'll be going out. All right, two more. starting to set these outside to start hardening off this week probably starting tomorrow uh, so every single one of these trays of peppers and tomatoes will be put out on my front yard um, up close to the house so they'll get four to six or six to eight hours of daylight in the morning and then they'll be shaded in the afternoon so they'll both be able to get used to the temperature fluctuations and the light requirements and then as they get a little bit older um, like the 1st of May, I will start putting them in the backyard where they're going to get more direct sunlight for a longer period of time. So we're just going to start working on hardening them off so that they're ready to go out in the garden come Mother's Day. So we have gotten uh, pretty much all the tomatoes up potted now. So when I took account as I've been up potting these, or actually just dividing them so that they're in their own individual pots. Some of these are already putting off flowers. Uh, there are 40 Roma tomatoes. I've got like 10 of the red cherry tomato, uh, yeah, cherry tomatoes, 10 of the red ones. I've got four black strawberry cherry tomatoes and then right now we've got six of the green tomatoes and six of the purple tomatoes so that is a lot of tomatoes and some of y'all might think you planted way too many yeah if it was just for me i probably would say i have started way too many tomatoes but it is not just for me some of these will be going to uh, my friends that I'm helping them with their gardens this year. So this will be able to benefit them and bless them and they will be immensely happy and grateful for them. And then the bulk of them will remain mine. And then I will probably offer some of the cherry tomatoes to anybody in my community who would like them. You know, it didn't really cost me anything to grow these. So why not bless other people with them? So yeah, 
All right, when I get done with these, I will take you a tour. So what I've got up potted at this point right now is going to be tomatillos and tomatoes. And I believe, I think I am just gonna go ahead and do a separate video on up potting the peppers. Because as you can see, I have got a lot of peppers here to up pot or to separate. And so I don't know, I don't want this video to be super long today. So I will just do that on a different video. But yeah, so that's where we are at that. We will be starting to set these out in the front so that they can start hardening off before Mother's Day. And I am super excited. These tomatoes are looking fabulous. Some of my other ones, all my Romas, they, the canopies of the other ones shaded them so they didn't get very big. So they're still quite small, but we are going to not worry about that. They will get bigger. I know they'll get bigger. And we will just kind of go with it. So just like before, I'm taking these and I'm bending over the roots a little bit to fit into the bottom of this. And I'm burying the stems down a little bit more to really get a good root system going on these. And then when I plant them outdoors, they, they will again get buried deeper to get a better root system going at that. As you can see, that is a really nice root system on that. And everywhere up here, there is more nodes coming off. These are gonna be extremely hardy. And I'm so happy about these. My Romas are the ones that are kind of suffering and I don't know if it's just because they're Roma tomatoes um, or what, but they did, are not doing quite as well as these guys. But now that I think about it too, my first round of Romas didn't germinate. So I think these are probably about four weeks older than the other ones. So that probably explains it. I am making sure I am going through here and labeling each one of these plants now because they've been mixed around and everything. And so I need to make tags and then I will take you guys on a tour of what I've got up on it. All right, so here we go. We've got a lot of tomatoes, both here and on this bottom shelf down here. So let's start right here with this bottom shelf. These are all of our green tomatillos. They're in the ground cherry family. They are doing really fabulous. You can see that. Some of these are a little floppy and still kind of young, but we will work on that to get them nice and strong. This is the ones we this is the ones we just finished. So these are the purple and the green. So the Aunt Anne's uh, German purp or green tomato, and then the Cherokee purple tomato. I got one purple here, and then these are all the baby boomers, and then here are a couple of my black strawberry cherry tomatoes. Almost all of these are Roma tomatoes. That's how many Roma tomatoes I have. So there are four trays of Roma tomatoes. This is the only one right here that is not Roma. These are some of the uh, cherry tomatoes. So you can see that that is a ton of tomatoes. You can definitely see the size difference between the Romas and the ones that were started two to four weeks before they were. So it does make a difference, but these will all catch up to them really quickly. They've got beautiful growth on them. I've got the lights turned off so y'all can see because that is a red hewn light. And I'm excited. I'm excited if we we're counting down until they go outside permanently. We've got four to six weeks. We're looking at Mother's Day. So it's usually about the second weekend of May. And it's getting so close. I'm so excited. Chi Chi. <laughs> Are you wanting to say hello? She hello, Chi Chi. So all right, friends, uh, stay tuned. I will be doing about the peppers uh, later this week. And uh, please like, share, subscribe.
so everybody can see the progress and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Mimi.